Hello, GetRichQuickGuy.com here again. I'm trying to figure out if it's absolutely necessary to have 65 tons of pressure to form something with approximately three ounces of um, plastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be the injection mold and I'm going to try to form something out of plastic that looks like this. So at the 99 cent store they sold these things. Uh, I'm not sure what they're used for, but what I'm going to do is put a little spacer at the bottom and then put this thing on top so that there's a little bit of a gap and I can hopefully form something thin inside of it by putting in the, the correct volume of liquid. So to find out what volume goes in here, I'm going to pour in some liquid and then uh, oops. so approximately this much fluid needs to be in there and I'm going to measure the weight of this and use my scale to get the proper amount of polypropylene. Okay, so don't need this water now. Um, we have some fluid in here, just enough fluid to keep this thing from overflowing. Take out the spacer, put it upside down there, and then I'm going to try to measure the volume of this water. Wow, it needs four ounces. I'm actually putting uh, 6.2 ounces of uh, uh, polypropylene resin in here because I'm guessing that a lot of it is going to stick to the pan, so I want to make sure I have enough to form the whole piece. Get in. S standard $40 skillet from Target. Have it cranked up all the way. I'm going to put all this stuff on here. I'm going to wait. Uh, this thing has been sitting here for about 20 minutes now with the lid closed and on 400 degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> You're only supposed to heat this up to 200, but if I leave it at 200, the, the plastic never melts because it's uh, the heat is distributed so unevenly. So before I lift the lid, <clears throat> I'm going to put on the uh, little respirator here, and then putting on gloves underneath gloves is recommended because this thing is just too hot. Uh, this thing has been sitting here for about 20 minutes now with the lid closed and on 400 degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> You're only supposed to heat this up to 200, but if I leave it at 200, the, the plastic never melts because it's, uh, the heat is distributed so unevenly. So before I lift the lid, <clears throat> I'm going to put on the uh, little respirator here. And then... Putting on gloves underneath gloves is recommended because this thing is just too hot.
Okay, so here is the mold after it has cooled. And uh, if, if I uh, take this piece apart, um, the piece inside of it has formed very well, actually. And uh, this is just by pressing the two halves together. Remember, these two pieces were not heated at all. And uh, if, if I was to heat this, the plastic would have flowed much better. So uh, I think that it is possible to have a press mold without an actual injection mold if your part is simple enough and you can heat the actual form so that the plastic will continue to flow and not uh, solidify.